Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Hugo and today I'm going to teach you how to deploy .NET Core application into a Linux VM. Stay around! Okay, so now first thing first, uh, what we need to do is to download this uh, application, which is a, um, a FTP, which is going to allow us to connect into the server and send the files into the, the server, So, which is the, the WinS CP. I'm going to leave this um, URL, uh, all the URLs and all the scripts are going to be on the description. Then if you don't have yet uh, created a VM in Linux, please check my movie uh, regarding how to create a server and validate if you can uh, see the um, Nginx um, uh, page. And then what we're going to need is also to go to the GitHub, to my GitHub, and you can download the core app, just go here, download as a zip, and then you unzip, and I'm already unzip it, and you're going to have the, the application here. So you just open this, and I'm going to run the application. I need to explain you here something regarding the, the configure and you will see this page so this is exactly what the same thing that we want to see in our uh, AWS server okay so as you can see one of the things that is, is quite important is we need to make sure that we have this in our as a setting uh, the configure in our setting because this is going to read the the file on the Linux server which going to repoint to the port 5000. We're going to have to check this later. Okay, since all of this is done, we are now going to proceed into log into the server. So we open the putty, get the we I can close this now. No needs, no needs, and no needs. Okay, and we're going to get the the IP address here. Going to connect to the server. And we're going to proceed with the following. This is the server that has already the NX and the Docker installed. And we're going to proceed. I have a script because <laughs> this is going to be quite long. First thing that we're going to do is to install the, the packages. All this information is on the um, link on the description. So what I'm doing now is to install the package for the .NET SDK. In this case, I'm working with the 3.1 version. As you can see here, 3.1. Yes, please. Okay, and now what we're going to do, we're going to open the command prompt on our machine, since he's still running, and we're going to do one thing, oops, sorry, Okay, and we're going to um, compile this, so .NET publish, very well. So what is going to, what is going to do, if we go here to our website, we're going to see that he has created on a debug .NET, on the publish, he has created publish and he published all the website here. So, and this is actually what we're going to use on the server. 
okay so now what we're going to do is open the the win sp which is uh, okay we are now trying to connect username Debug net and publisher into here. So now we're going to open Putty CD. Uh, so now what we're going to do is dot dot net uh, AJS core app. Let's TLL. Okay. Um, it's not okay. Oh, probably if core is not case okay, sensitive. AJS core. Okay, let's put AJS core app TLL. Okay, actually, it's case sensitive. Okay, so now what we're going to do is to um, to configure the nginx to to forward the requests into the to the cluster web server, and to do this we need to go to the here. We need to go back. Uh, go too far. I never know the address of this here. ETC. We should have here uh, Nginx. Where are you? Here. And then we go to models available. Sorry. We're going to uh, uh, sites available. And we open. And we're going to open the default. So in here it's where we're going to um, tell the machine to point to the port uh, 5000. And I'm going to copy paste here. This, so basically we're going to sh uh, change all this here on the location. Location all this. Going to change this and save okay so we going to have a, we are a, having a, a problem with the permission okay we're going to the to the server in this case we're going to cd dash dash um, okay. Okay, very well. And now we're going to do sudo. Uh, So we, what we're doing here, we're going, to, we are changing the permission of the file, and it's default. Okay. So and now we should not, um, be able to change the file now. Let's see. Copy paste the thing again. And it's save. It's 
escape. Okay, he always um, gives an error. What we can do is just, okay, we just refresh and he saves anyway. Okay, very well. Okay, so after we change the file, um, what we're going to do, we need to reload the uh, nginx. Actually, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. We need to make sure that the, when we run the .NETs uh, for the DLL inside of the published folder, we need to make sure that it's, uh, the website is running because now the site, it's, uh, the Nginx server, it's pointing to this port, port meaning that's going to redirect all the, uh, all the traffic to here. Um, if uh, the, the server is not loading, he's going to give you a bad request. Okay, uh, another thing that we need to do, so we, what we're going to do now also is to reload the, um, I think I have here the command, reload, yeah, reload the, reload the, the scripts, the, the, the server, and now we need to go to the Azure, check the URL, and it. As you can see, now the site it's available. You can do whatever you want. So I hope that you guys enjoy uh, this step-by-step uh, -step how to install the, the uh, .NET Core sites in the in the Linux server. Uh, I'm going to publish more step-by-step. Um, -step. Uh, I hope you uh, follow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell, and the Give a like, that will help me a lot. And uh, see you around.